technology. Black Lives Matter started online, essentially, and sort of leveraged that presence, the digital presence, into presence on the streets. Talk a little bit about how you know, the, just the, the power of, of social media has led to the exposure of a lot of these incidents, but also organizing around it. Yeah, so we know that we didn't discover injustice in August of 2014. We didn't invent resistance, but we did have different tools uh, to talk about it. So in Missouri, in August, in the first days of the protest, there was a no-fly zone over St. Louis, which is why you never saw an aerial, any aerial shot of the protest. Baltimore, most people saw what happened in Baltimore, and that was the first city that there was aerial footage because in St. Louis there was not one. So if it were not for Twitter, Missouri would have convinced you that we just didn't exist. And Twitter was like our way of pushing back and saying, you know, one night one of the chief of police, he was like, we threw rocks at the police. And we're like, if we had thrown rocks at the police, they'd have shot us on site. Like, we didn't throw rocks at you. And we had, we had footage, we had our own images and stuff being like, we didn't throw anything at you. So. Twitter was uh, powerful for the way we organize. You know, I think about people of color, we always face these issues of erasure, and erasure often manifests in two ways. One is that either the story is never told or is told by everybody but us. And in this moment, we became the unerased. We could literally just say, like, no, this didn't happen, this did happen. And the police didn't know what they were doing besides terrorizing us. So we could just organize on Twitter. We could say, like, meet here and meet here and, like, sort of use codes and stuff like that to mobilize thousands of people in St. Louis and across the country to really press and confront people. And when I think about protests, it is this idea of telling the truth in public, that that's what we did with our bodies, that's what we did with Twitter, uh, which continues to be really powerful around the country.